welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I'm Tony Green and I'm the Psychic Medium. Actually, if I'm being honest, I am a channel or conduit, a vessel, if you will. What happens is um, when someone is talking to me, when someone is communicating with me, whether it be over the phone, um, via text, or um, like on here, information comes through me and out of my mouth. This is why I do my sessions over the phone um, or in person, because if I'm typing, the information takes a little longer because I'm not a very quick typer or a texter. I, I'm, I, it just gets in the way. Although I'd like to be able to be an automatic, like keyboard person, I'm still that person that uses one finger to do my texts. I don't care. My nieces can do both their thumbs, not even looking at their phone. I'm not that person. It's okay. I'm, I, I have many other gifts and qualities. I don't, I don't need to be able to do that. Maybe at some point, right? Um, but back, back to this. So I'm actually a channel. Um, but if you put channel, n nobody in the world knows what that means. Nobody knows what a prophet. And if you say you're a prophet, oh, heaven forbid, right away you get the biblical uh, biblical people coming at you. How dare you say you're a prophet? We're all prophets. We're all here to be a prophet. Um, but I'm a channel. So when things are going on, let's just say I would ever watch the news and I wouldn't. It's just misinformation and whatever. Um, or um, I'm, I'm listening to somebody talk. I can instantly know. This is This is the funniest thing to me. If I'm talking to somebody, whether it be a friend or a client or a um, whomever, I can instantly know if they're being honest with me or not. Now, I don't call people on things. I don't. It's not worth it. It's it's really not. Because once somebody lies, they double down on that lie if if you call them on it. And to me, it's it's really not not worth it. But anyway. <clears throat> So when people are calling in and I'm talking with them, uh, as they're talking, information is coming into me and or through me for, for that person. Sometimes it's as simple as a yes or a no. Sometimes it is a, a full on sentence. And sometimes, sometimes I'll hear the word or whatever first. Other times I do not. I just open my mouth and stuff comes out. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> used to get me in a lot of trouble as a child. <clears throat> okay, having said that, the same thing with my healings. When I do healings, when I do clearings and healings, I'm saying something like, and we'll do it right now. Um, okay. Okay. This is the clearing we're going to do. And I'm going to do this later on TikTok. And I'm going to, when I do this on TikTok, I want everybody um, that is comfortable doing this to go get this TikTok healing. It'll be later because right after the show, I'm booked back to back um, with people today. Whew. But I'm going to do this, this clearing on TikTok. And if you're comfortable going and getting this healing or clearing do go get it, download it and share it because this is a biggie. Now, when I do a clearing, I say the words and then the angels go in and do the work that they deem appropriate. If you don't believe in angels and you believe in other deities, that's who's going in to do it. If you're from India and you believe in Ganesh, then Ganesh is going in to do it. If you're from, you know, another country and you have a different verbiage for healers and miracle workers, that's just fine. I know the word angels. I, I'm very familiar with angels. I see Archangel Michael and Raphael and Metatron and Gabriel, Gabriel, 
all the time. I see them, Uriel, okay, I don't wanna leave any of them out, but I don't wanna say all their names right now. You're just all included. You are all included. I see them all the time. Um, so, so I'm very familiar with that term and that's the term I use. So here's the clearing we're going to do. And it's a big one, folks. And this will work no matter what country you're in. And it can work for anything as small as um, your, your company that you work for at, or as big as the people who govern us. Let me put it that way. So I'm going to think of the, the perfect way to say this. And thank you, everybody, for being so patient as I say this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spirit is here. Angels are here. Here we go. Our leaders always do what's in the best interest of the people they are leading. I get a note. We're going to clear that. Oh, oh, if you feel that, please comment. Oh. Okay, we're going to clear that to a yes. Now, the more we play, play this, no matter if you have prime ministers or whatever you have, the more you play it and the more people that play it, the more the angelic help will go in. Our leaders are corrupt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who, who would have guessed that wouldn't have been a yes? Let's clear that. Our leaders are doing what is best for, for the people of their nation. I get a no. Let's clear that. Okay, I'm going to do this again later on on TikTok. So it's just those little, that one minute clearing that you can share, download, and send out to anybody, any place. And a leader, again, can be a boss at work or a manager at work or whatever it is. Okay. Now, I want to say hi to Genevieve, Vaughn, and Sal. Thank you so much for chatting. If you are online and you want to chat, if you're watching via YouTube, get on the chat and say hi. Um, and if you are um, calling in, I'm going to be getting to the callers very soon. Just one more quick announcement. Um, during these times of food shortages, and I can't even say it with this. I, 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 the food shortages, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not laughing at that. During these times of stress with food shortages and everything going on in the world, if you are consumed with fear, or stress or anxiety, you might want to consider a therapy animal. Now, therapy animals, they don't define what that therapy animal has to be. So if you feel like you need a therapy chicken that lays eggs, I mean, I'm just saying, or a therapy pig, I would name it bacon, just so everybody's clear on its purpose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And if you're Jewish, I've got you. If you're Jewish, it's okay. If you don't eat pork, I've got you. If you need a therapy lamb that you want to call lamb chops, I mean, for the love of God, get your therapy animal. Make sure you get a male and a female because your neighbors might need therapy animals and eggs. I mean, chickens too. Um, you might have to get this as a therapy animal. <laughs> Because our government in most areas have said we can't have chickens and pigs. <laughs> so this might be the way to go if you need a therapy animal. <laughs> give me a problem, I'll give you a solution. That's all I am saying. There's no food, I have a therapy pig. <laughs> Name bacon. <laughs> Oh, I crack myself up. Okay, I want to say hi to Raphael. Hey, Raphael. Hi, uh, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. And I love... I love Poppy. I love Poppy 08. And Jelly Beans. You need a therapy goat. Yes, that's another one because therapy goats are great for milk. So you and your neighbors get together. One of you have a pig. One of you have a goat. One of you have a lamb. 
and a couple of you have chickens. Um, here, uh, yes, let's do this. Let's do it. I see it be good. I'm going to tell you guys, I've ordered an avocado tree, an orange tree, a pineapple plant, a raspberry bush. And I live in a climate that is cold most of the time, but I'm going to do my best to make them work indoors. I'm just saying. Um, and I do. I have, like, my whole windows are already full of plants. So I'm just going to have to put, I'll figure it out. No worries. No worries. I'll figure it out. All righty, Aphrodite. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so happy to have all of you here today. We are going to get growing now. If you are watching on TV, because this show does air on WSCS, Roku, and a number of other streaming channels um, on, on actual television. Um, hey, Jennifer. Um, uh, if you're watching on TV and you want to join the fun live, please, by all means, absolutely join us every Monday and Wednesday at noon. And I'm at a point where I can go live on TikTok, words I never thought I would say, but I'm saying, and I'm going to use my call in for TikTok also. If you do want to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one, here's the number. 845-277-9131. Call in now. I am going to start taking phone calls um, and answering questions. And a la Poppy. Now, uh, this could be a man or a woman. I don't know. But I think that just sounds sounds like a sexy name, If whether it's a whatever. A la Poppy. Ooh, Poppy. Okay, never mind that. Stop. Stop. You're on a show. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. God, I turn red so easy. <laughs> Ooh, Poppy. Come here, Poppy. Stop. I need to stop. I'm sorry. I'm just, just for the sake of the show, I'm just going to call you 08 from now on so I don't get myself in too much trouble here. Okay, nice. Therapy beer. Yes start a brewery in your backyard <laughs> or in your basement. <laughs> oh, Lord. corn makes whiskey. I consider it a vegetarian food. <laughs> I don't, I don't drink any <laughs> anymore. Very, 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 very rarely. Burroughs, Raphael, uh, Raphael, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. Time to get serious. We are gonna take some callers. We're taking callers. Da 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 da. da. I'm looking for a specific number from, um, I think it's Raphael. Raphael, if you called in today, uh, remind me of what your area code is. Um, so that I can catch you on live here. Is it 614? Maybe it's 614. I don't know, but I'm going to start with, I'm starting at the top and working my way down until um, till I see it. Raphael, if you did call in, please let me know what your area code is so that I can catch you. Um, here we go. 310, 310. What's your name? Where are you calling from? And please take me off of speakerphone. All hey. righty. Hey, Tori. Hey, Tori. This is Vince calling from New York. Hey, Vince. How are you? I am not doing well. I'm extremely depressed right now. Okay. Um, yesterday, I got fired from um, my job. I just started six weeks ago. No line, no reason, no nothing. My, my supervisor said I, he was shocked because I did an excellent job. I was learning the job really well. And I'm doing great work. And they didn't give him any reason. They just told me to dismiss me. Okay. So and, and I was on my 90 days probation. So I'm just wondering if there's any job coming for me uh, anytime soon or if I'm done. If, if, because if I don't get something like real soon, I'm just going to end up losing everything I got. Okay, so Vince, I'm going to do a couple of things. First of, first and foremost, so sometimes when people call in and they're telling me something that's very 
heartbreaking. My mind doesn't go to say like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Although I am so sorry you're going through this. My mind goes instantly to, to let's start fixing off. this. Let's start healing this. So Vince, the first thing we're going to do for you, everybody listening, watching, re-watching, re-listening, we're going to start clearing the depression. Um, so we're going to start clearing that. And you might feel that, Vince. And if you do, it might feel a little overwhelming or like pressure or energy moving throughout the body. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to clear that you, um, oh, oh, we are going to clear oh, that you, uh, anybody, anybody listening, looking for work, needing work, finds the perfect work for them. Um, let's clear that to finding the perfect job. Vince, I'm going to say something I, I wouldn't normally say in your situation. Two things are coming in for you. The first thing is, Vince, if you need to relocate so that you can find a secure position, I recommend that you look into that. The second thing, Vince, is um, there are a tremendous number of work from home jobs available if you have a computer and you can read, um, there are a number of companies like, for example, Apple. Um, Apple will train you, give you a computer and let you work from home, being a customer service person, walking people through, um, through a customer service stuff. Um, and you go straight to Apple's um website and you apply for that now apple's just one of the companies there are so many companies now that that will let you work from home i do feel like something is coming in uh quickly for you vince i do feel like within a week you will at, at the very least know about a new position now, I am going to tell you, you have to have, I'm hearing the statement, boots on the ground. You need to be out there, like pounding the pavement. And that doesn't, that doesn't a little, 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 little literally mean um, walking up and down blocks. That means looking at any company that you might want to work for, looking, going directly to their website and seeing if they're hiring. For example, the VA um, doesn't necessarily post online their openings. They only post on their website. So think of the work you do and any company that would need that work and start looking at those companies. I also feel like, Vince, you really, really need to consider an area that is a little bit more... Um, conducive, thank you, to to your energy. Thank you. Um, I feel like Vince, I know this is going to sound a little bit crazy, but I feel like you would do better a little bit more south than on the the, the coast. I feel like um, mid, mid south might be good. I feel like uh, a little bit of a southern area might be a better energetic. Now, I am by no means am I telling you to pack up all your you know, pack up the pickup and, and head south. I am not saying that. I'm saying if it, it feels right to you and you do your research and you find a good position in that area, you might have better luck keeping positions in an area where the energy isn't the same as it is on the coast. Um, but I do, it, regardless of that, I do feel like something is coming in for you and it is coming in quickly, but you have to, you, you have to like kind of snap out of it. And I'm going to do another oh, clearing on that for you. Oh, um, and I am going, to, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, tell you, Get online, get out there and start looking today. I do feel like you will find something quickly. And even if you find something 
that is just a, like a holdover position, something, okay, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to keep looking. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Um, and, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what comes in for you. Okay, Vince, you will be in my prayers and the prayers of everybody else um, listening. I'm sure all of the, the viewers and listeners are going to pray for you to hope that you find the position that's right for you. Okay, Vince? Okay. Yeah, because I, I did get a call from the recruiter two days ago. I'm still waiting to hear from a company called Ball Corporation. And uh, she seemed to be interested, and she said she was going to uh, send my information to the high manager at the location that I applied for. So yeah. I'm hoping I get that job because it pays really well, and it's not too far from home. Good. And Vince, let her, if she's so, a recruiter, let her know you're open to any other positions available also. Okay. Yeah, I, I told her that. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much for calling in, Vince. Until next time, we all will be praying for you. I'm going to go directly to 917. Uh, 917, how are you today? Hey, Tony, how are you doing? This is Tim from New York. How are you doing today? Excellent, Tim. How are you? It's been a minute. Uh, it's been a minute, yes, yes. Uh, I am well. I am well. Um, working on trying to manifest some new things. So I've just been grounding, getting out in nature, asking Archangel Michael for some assistance. I haven't been remembering dreams for a while, but... Uh, Trying to get to bed, set the intention before, just see if I can get some assistance from spirit. Uh, you know, like little breadcrumbs, if there's any tips or messages from spirit. Yeah. Really okay, so, so when we're not remembering our dreams, it doesn't mean that they're not happening. It means that we need to go a little dip, a little dip deeper. Oh, my gosh, my words today. Lordy, lordy. Um, a little bit deeper into that state and get some rest. Um, I'm going to tell you, Tim, there's something coming in for you. Now, when I say tomorrow, I don't, it, it doesn't literally mean tomorrow, but it does mean um, very soon. Uh, sometimes it is literally tomorrow, but sometimes it's like within a month. They just use that tomorrow statement. One of the things I'm hearing for you, Tim, in your manifestations, change your verbiage a little bit. So, I'm going to I'm, okay. I'm going to use this example <clears throat> excuse me because it's really easy <clears throat> oh my goodness to understand this example there are so many people that want to manifest winning let's just say the powerball jackpot or the mega millions jackpot that's a nice goal that's a do not give up that goal if that's your dream hold on to it no matter what anybody else says let them have their dream you have yours now, one of the things I know about manifesting, and I, I've happened to have manifested some pretty sweet stuff. I'll just put it like that. But one of the things I know is it has to be something, A, you can visualize in your mind. B, you believe will come to you and you can keep without fear. Now, the reason I say that is a lot of people try to manifest the Powerball jackpot, but that's such an overwhelming amount of money. They can't even comprehend that amount of money, having that amount of money and feeling safe with that amount of money. Most people would spend it within a very short period of time because it would be so, so uncomfortable for them. So manifest in increments on a level that's comfortable until you build up to that level. And again, it has to be something that you really can tangibly desire. So one of my manifestations was a Jeep, Grand Cherokee. I didn't ask for a Greek jet Grand Cherokee. I just was, you know, in my REM state or in that hypnosis state 
And I said, I wanted an SUV with all the options, brand new. I didn't want to pay for it, not even the taxes on it. Yep, that's a thing, because if you win something, you have to pay the taxes on it. And I didn't want to win that. I didn't want to pay the taxes on it. I said, I, I don't know how this is going to happen. I don't care. This is just what I want. I want it black, leather, blah, 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 blah. And um, in within two months of that manifestation and visualizing that in that state of hypnosis, I was driving a Jeep off of, uh, out of the car dealership, brand new. I didn't even have to pay the taxes. Um, and and I'm a person, I don't have a problem with other people's judgment, okay? So if you're going to manifest, and especially if you're going to share how you got your manifestations, um, you have to be okay with whatever anybody else says about it. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says about any part of anything as it pertains to my life, you know, cause that's, that's your life. That's your vision. That's your reality. Don't you, you own that. Don't, don't bring it to me. But what I'm going to say for you, Tim, is they're saying use change your verbiage a little bit and change your like not your vision because your vision is good, but change the verbiage you're using to get that vision accomplished. Okay. So instead of saying, I want to win the Powerball jackpot, which you can still say that, start visualizing all the things you're going to do with that money from that jackpot because money for the sake of money doesn't have the same feeling as things. So if let's just say you want to win the lottery because you want five really cool cars, okay? Um then visualize those five really cool cars um from that result of that winning or this house or this or that. And before you know it, those things will start to come in as well as everything else. I hope I hope that's helpful. But as of tomorrow, something's going to flip and change. Remember, we are at a full moon. Super, superstition yeah. says at a full moon, it's things you want to get smaller. At a new moon, it's things you want to get bigger. If you don't buy into the superstition of the moon cycles, then don't worry about that. Just do you. Um, I would say... Something's going to click tonight. And in that, whatever clicks tonight, starting tomorrow, you're going to have a new vision or view on how you can get what you're manifesting. Okay, love? Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome. Appreciate and Tim, I'm going to real quick, I'm going to do a clearing. Uh, we get what we... We get all the good things we manifest. I'm getting a no. So let's clear that to a yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. That's a goodie. I love that one. Oh, my goodness. It's like, you know what? That's really hitting my throat. Uh, so maybe it's the being able to speak it out. Oh. <coughs> Holy cow, Tim, that's a good clearing. Thank you so much. I hope everybody else um, that is listening or watching feels this also because that's a very powerful one. And listen, I mean, re-listen to this. Um, the, the manifestation whew, clearing is at about the 30, 31 minute mark. So re-listen to it. And again, Tim, thank you so much for calling in. It's absolutely wonderful to be able to, to, to talk with you again. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. I love each and every one of you until Monday. Have a fabulous weekend.